week we're gonna have a great pour with platinum, exotic pour, and my guest. Hi guys, Rhonda Draculis here, RK3 Designs, and I am super excited. I have a special guest today who brought us a really cool project. So I'm gonna let him introduce himself and maybe tell him a little bit about how he got here. Hi, I'm Robert Modell. Um, I happen to live in the same city as Rhonda here in Seeing, Texas. I had a glass top patio table that got ruined in a windstorm, shattered. I came across Stone Coat. I called those guys, visited with Jeremy at Stone Coat. We wrote up the product. He said, what's that shipping address? I said, Seguin, Texas. He said, Seguin, do you know Rhonda? I was like, <laughs> no, I don't, but I look her up. Lo and behold, I found Rhonda, called her up. We visited about my project and she was so sweet and happy to help me with this project. Super excited. And because it's a platinum pour and I'm not familiar with that product, we decided this would be the thing to do. And uh, here we are. We're gonna go mix up some product and we'll be back and get started. We're going to each have a set of colors. And then we're each going, see how good I measure? Don't she love this? This is how I cook. Just dump it in there. So we're each gonna have our own set of colors and our own bucket. And then we're each gonna do an exotic pour and see how it ends up. Now, because we have so many different mediums here and products, when we do this exotic pour, all of these colors are gonna really fight each other. And as we pour them out, without us even doing anything to them, they're gonna start creating some really cool effects. We did some ex uh, samples of this the other day and they turned out amazing. All right, so what we did is we have already put the colors in the cups before we mixed up our platinum so that that was one less thing that we had to do while our platinum sat in the bucket. So it's really important that you kind of get down your efficiency when you're working with the platinum. If you have a really big pour in a kitchen, it will be a good idea to have you some, you know, some hands in there just to kind of speed things along, but we're doing good. The platinum is a bit thinner than the original formula of stone coat countertop epoxy. So the mica powders just almost melt like butter. And then on these colors from Artist Till Death, look at that color. That's the turquoise luster. Literally just blends like butter. This is that blue transparent and we mixed it with the diamond dust. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? When you buy cups to mix in, see how these have these little, it's almost like a little reservoir towards the bottom of the cup. If you can buy a plastic cup that's flat, completely flat on the bottom, instead of having that little reservoir, it really does help with product not getting caught in that little reservoir like this did, and then coming to the top. So it really kind of helps if you can do that by those cups. Okay, everything looks really well. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do in between our color coats, we're gonna be adding some spray paint. And what this is gonna do is it's going to create some cells. That's one more layer of material that we have that's gonna kind of be fighting against each other. Now. I've instructed him <laughs> to kind of do what she wants to do. We're, we're not really gonna have a recipe. We're just gonna kind of dump and spray, dump and spray. Now, if we were doing this by ourselves, we weren't talking on camera, we would have a mask on because of the uh, spray paint. Our epoxy has zero VOCs, but our spray paint has a little bit. But since we're talking, we're gonna be really careful when we spray it in the bucket. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's start out with a white. Actually, let's start out with priming our bucket. Hmm. I'm gonna prime mine with white. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, so that's just gonna kinda give us a color to start with. Remember, 
Whatever we put in the bucket first is going to come out of our bucket last. So kind of keep that in mind if you're trying to really get a pattern here. All right, so I'm going to start off. And if you will notice how our cups are already getting a little bit warm. Yeah, they are. So I'm just, is this white? Blue. All right, now I'm just going to start adding colors. And you can grab how you want to grab them. Ooh, I'm going to this copper. Yeah, I hit it with copper right away. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing colors. <laughs> so when you do this, when you pour in the bucket, you, you want to be a little careful not to just dump it in there really hard. You want to be a little, a little easy so that your colors don't mix. And then once you do have it mixed in the bucket, you do want to be very careful and not over mix it. They will, some, your colors, especially when you pour them out on the table, they're going to start layering at their own rate. And because of the density, yes, you'll see some colors kind of want to stay on the top as you pour and some have a tendency to kind of really drop down to the bottom. So I'm pretty even. So this is my third round. So I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be my, I'm going to pour the rest of my color in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just sprayed you. <laughs> sorry. I'll be all right. <laughs> I didn't tell him he wasn't going to be in trouble if he came here. <laughs> now, once I kind of finish, I have a little bit of product in there. I'm just going to tump it upside down. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some paint that we have left in the cup. We're going to pour that out. Oh, wait. Did That's okay. No, I wanted that. Yeah, oh, just okay. tump it upside down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pre-grease this board so that our, our material really rolls out on it well. So now you're going to take it and you're just going to really rub it all over here. It doesn't have to look pretty. We're just getting color on the board. And we want to get make sure we get right up on those edges so that that epoxy will run over those edges really nice. All right, perfect. Warm it up a little bit. And we're ready to go. All right, I'll start off with my bucket. And then you'll just follow suit. Okay. And we're just going to kind of fill in. And the fun part about this is if we decide we don't have enough product, we can mix it up and come back and mix in between and really get some neat colors. So let's heat it up a little bit and let's tilt it. All right, so you get it one end. I'm gonna get the other end, and let's tilt this way. Okay. Ready? Go. Now we want to. We don't want to tilt a lot, and we don't want to tilt fast because we don't want to get these little teardrops that you get if you tilt it too too fast. So what I did is where I just took some more just pure white uh, epoxy tinted it with just the white opaque. And now we're gonna kind of do a, a cheating version of an exotic pour. So I'm gonna take these colors and I'm just gonna spray them in the bucket. And then I'm very lightly gonna just marble this this way. Kind of go hit all those areas that we missed. And then it's going to get really thick at the bottom because we had some left in there. That's going to give us some really cool, cool looks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just okay. run you some veins. Let's heat it and tilt it. Okay, 
Okay, you ready to tilt? Yes, ma'am. So we're going to create some visuals down here. Now, after I do the little fractures, I like to come in with my hand. And get a little bit more. And now I'm coming in with uh, blue-green alcohol. Mixed with 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Usually I mix it with 91%, but since all this COVID, we are experiencing not being able to find alcohol. So now we can come in and I've got some color that's really been setting up here. Now we're gonna kind of just start laying in some really cool lines. Now I know you're thinking, well, it's just gonna kind of lay on top. It's still gonna move and we're still gonna get some really neat fracture lines. Now all we're doing is adding some interest. Because this is platinum, it is gonna dry a little thicker and a little heavier, so you're gonna have, or a little faster, so you're gonna have unevenness, but that's okay, because we're gonna take care of that with our flood coat, and that's gonna level it all out. But right now, I'm just adding some really cool fault-looking lines. If you ever see real stone, you'll, you'll see how stone has fault lines that come in here. So I'm just coming back very lightly now with some alcohol, I'm not spritzing very hard at all. And I'm getting it to cause some neat reactions. And because it's later on in the pour and our epoxy starting to set up, these reactions are gonna have a tendency to stay. All right, so now we're gonna pull our tape and we're gonna let those edges, that material just flow over our edges. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Got it? Yeah. All right. So now I'm taking epoxy that I had left over and I'm coming back and I'm helping those edges run over. So if they're, if it's flowing over really organic, I'm going to leave them alone. But if there's little spots that I need to help, then I'll come add a little bit more material and help that epoxy just roll over those edges. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm able to go around and get these drips. And what makes it really neat is I'm not going to have to sand drips. As soon as this piece hardens up enough, I'm not going to have any drips to sand. I'm just taking color and adding it back on there just to give my edges some really neat characteristics. And he did prep this table before he brought it. He's red guarded the back side so that it's going to be waterproof on both sides. Now, guys, we're just playing. We're just we're just going to play now. All right. OK, so I'm officially done. How about that? Okay, so what do you think about this? Oh, it's amazing. I am so thrilled with the way this turned out. Is this what you were? Love it. Yeah, yes. and the thing is, is you had a hand in this. You actually, 
you had a bucket in this. So. And I can't even spell art. Yeah. <laughs> and so you were really excited the fact that I had my bucket, mm -hmm. you had your bucket, and even though we used the same colors, it so much of it came out different, it right? Did. It did. All right, so um, so we're gonna have a few cocktails around this table absolutely, at some point. Absolutely, absolutely. Margaritas in my place. All right, I'm ready for that. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell uh, to subscribe to our channel and you'll get future notifications when we post new videos. And remember guys, don't be scared, move forward and be creative.